You're a fork in the road and a mystery A sad song I can't hardly sing Can't have it both ways but I'm trying Cause your love is an awful thing Your love is an awful thing That's a song called Your Love is an Awful Thing off Originalist. It was written by bassist Reed Jones who holds that position in Audie Blaylock and Redline. I called him up one day and I, was, I asked him, I said, I, we need a song like I'm going back to Old Kentucky in A that just, that just moves down the road. And so it wasn't very long after that he sent me the lyrics and, and the melody. So we recorded it, ended up doing a music video for it that turned out very, very cool. Uh, we ended up shooting it in a car museum and it just, it turned out fabulous. We had a great time with it. The air is thin and it's empty Bruising it cuts like a knife That's a song called Your Love Is Always a Fight. It's off Originalist. It was also written by bassist Reed Jones. Uh, he's quickly becoming one of my favorite songwriters, not just because he writes material for the band, but he uh, the content is always top notch. That's really funny because he was, he was driving home, he actually teaches school, he was driving home and was in the winter time was looking out in this field and he saw this leaf or something sticking out of the snow and he said that, that melody just kind of popped into his head and the lyrics just started to come out. So, I really love the song. Grandpa told me a story once about a man named Cecil Martin. He said he was the meanest man to ever set foot in these mountains. And late one night by the full moonlight, a door thing he hadn't counted on was Cecil outside his door. That's a song called The Ghost of Cecil Martin off Originalist and that's a song that I wrote, actually ended up co-writing with, uh, with Reed Jones. I had most of the song and we needed a bridge for the song and he came up with it. That's, that's, there's, that's a compilation of old ghost stories and stories that my family grew up, I grew up in, uh, in Lansing, Michigan, but my family is from Virginia. And anybody that's ever been up in a holler knows, you know, how scary that can be. And so between the ghost stories and, uh, you know, the, the folklore and all that kind of stuff, we kind of put several different things together and, and came up with a song. And, and hopefully we can, we got that you know, up in the holler, scare you to death kind of feeling. I don't know why it is that I love you. I don't know why it is that I cry. You have gone and now you love another. That's why I cry. I don't know why. That's a song called I Don't Know Why off Originalist. And it's one of my favorite Red Allen songs. I actually had the chance in about 1993 or 92, I think it was, we went up to Washington, D.C. and I actually got to record that song with Red Allen. And unbeknownst to me, before we walked in the studio, uh, Red turns around and says, well, Tony Rice is here today. So he actually ended up being on the session as well. So I got to do four songs with Tony Rice and Red Allen. So that's one of my favorite songs. From the days of my birth and weakness I lay. As dignity and hope relentlessly Fade. Do you know what 
what it's like to beg for your bread while they spit on the ground or you've been longing to tread that's a song called a gate called beautiful it's off originalist and that is another reed jones uh, composition it's the the story of the beggar in acts three and I just think that it was when I heard that song, it absolutely just blew me away. The melody is is beautiful. The the performance, the band just like stepped it up a notch when we recorded that, and we got a number one out of it after, shortly after it was released. So we're really proud of that song. That's a song called Huckleberry's Hope off Originalist, and uh, that's a Reed Jones composition as well. And anyone that is a Western fan surely has seen the movie Tombstone. And Val Kilmer in the, in the Tombstone movie absolutely steals the show, I think. I'm a huge fan of that movie, as well as uh, most of the rest of the guys. And he's always saying, I'm your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. So that's actually where the title came from, Huckleberry's Hope. <laughs> 